Now. Bishina slammed open the Akimichi clan compound. With Naruto. Naruto Tsunade yes. They said at the same time Naruto looked at Tsunade with a smug smile as Tsunade just rolled her eyes. Tsunade shut it brat. Naruto what I didn't say anything. Tsunade you know what you did I'll give you the just to scroll later on let's keep watching. Back with Kishina. Akimichi guard. Halt you are. Kishina didn't wait for a second and swung her weapon taking care of the fat man. That only brought more Akimichi clan members out much to Kishina's enjoyment as they surrounded her. Kishina good you're saving me the trouble to come looking for you. Mza what is the meaning of this? The circle moved to let their clan leader through when he did he froze seeing his old friend alive and well. Joza K. Kishina B. But how? Kishina you understatement the fury of a mother my fury for the injustice my son has received from this village brought me back to life. With Naruto. Tsunade Kishina did always like to be dramatic reminds me of a certain someone who said he could learn the Rasengan in a month. Tsunade said pinching Naruto's cheek who in turn just took out his necklace. Naruto I won in the end didn't I? Back to the massacre. Mza was sweating he knew he was no match for Kishina but still he couldn't just let the demise of a member go without retribution. Mza Kishina you have my deepest apologies for how my clan. Kishina don't even try to involve your clan you know as well as I do they wouldn't have done it if you haven't told them to you were the one who banned my son from entering any of your apocalishment you were the one that didn't let Naruto shop at your markets you've caused my son so much pain that it's unforgivable now I'll show you mercy and let you choose die by my weapon and I'll let you. Clansmen live or let them fight and I'll eliminate anyone who stands in my way from eliminating you. Mza do what you must and I'll do what I must. Multiple clan members jumped to catch Kishina from all angles, but again all it took was one swing of her weapon, and every single one of them vanished by her hand, Kishina looked at Chmza she could see the fear in his eyes, while Chmza could see nothing but coldness in Kishina. In the final moments, the last thing he witnessed was Kishina's swift action as she approached Choza. With a decisive strike, her sword caused an injury, and Choza collapsed. Kishina gazed at him briefly as his body stilled. Kishina may your son be a better clan head than you were. Kishina as a final insult spits on Chmza's already dead body and runs away before anyone could see her and blame it on Naruto that made he stop and think for a second, but that was interrupted when a slug came with a mask for her making her smirk. Kishina you know after I'm done Konoha will be weaker since I'm not gonna stop until every last clan member is dead. Slug Lady Tsunade said that's okay for Konoha to survive the old needed to die anyway, just don't eliminate Hiyashi Hyuga clan were the only one who didn't do anything. Kishina nods and puts the mask on before going to her next hunt, the Inuzuka clan once she crashed through the wall of the clan, instantly multiple clan members surrounded her, but to their shock their dogs whined and ran away feeling Kishina's bloodlust, all but one Kurameru who was growling next at Tsum, who was leaning against him smirking. Tsum attacking my clan you must be crazy I like it I do like it. Before I eliminate you why not take the mask off. Kishina gladly unlike the Akamichi clan I'm not gonna give this clan any mercy especially you. Kishina took off her mask glaring at Tsum who took a step back in fear. Kishina old teammate. Tsum K. Kishina, how? Kishina the how doesn't matter the why does, and I'm sure you can guess why I'm here you mutt. Tsum unlike her son Tsum wasn't that dumb and knew what Kishina was implying to everyone surprised Tsum walked for battles. Tsum. Everyone stay back and do not interfere. Fibba ran up to her ready to help. Fibba but mom. Tsum shut up brat. Tsum punched Kiba in the gut, taking the wind out of him before kissing his forehead. Tsum I love you remember that be good you brat be better than me our clan is gonna need a new alpha and it better be you. Tsum snapped her fingers and Kurameru grabbed the passed out Kiba and dragged him away, giving one last look to his master, Tsum looked at Kurameru and pets his head. Tsum you were the best boy I could ask for Kurameru. The tear fell from the old dog's face before he left deeper inside the compound Tsum sighed and walked up to her old teammate kneeling before her. Tsum I'm not dumb enough to ask for forgiveness if I was in your shoes, I would be doing the same thing I'll only ask that you spare my son a favor from an old friend. Kishina I ask you for the same favor when I ask you to look after Naruto and you betrayed me, why should I even consider granting your request? Tsum because you're a better person than me now stop being a pansy ass and do it. Kishina didn't hesitate and eliminated Tsum's, she looked at the faces of the Inuzuka clan, quickly turning from shock to mourning. Kishina oh don't worry you'll join her soon enough you've all seen my face I can't possibly let you all live. Kishina puts on her mask again and defeated the surrounding members and their dogs Kishina looked at the compound and could hear the other clan members and frowned. Kishina tsk you were right I am better than you. Kishina turned around and walked away. Kishina made it to the Aburum clan and noticed it was empty Kishina heard the humming and instantly did hand signs and rubbed her fingers on her weapon Kishina fire style volcanic slash. 
the Sheena slashed the air, and wildfire appeared burning any insect that came close to her. The fire was put off by water, and a person appeared. The Sheena people always underestimated you Shibi I know your insects were watching me the entire time, so you know why I'm here. Shibi just nodded, and the started to tremble as Shibi's hand landed on the ground Shibi. Summoning Jutsu. A huge puff of smoke appeared, and instantly Kashina jumped out of the way as two huge pincers pierced the ground, Kashina looked up and saw a creature she only seen once the Aburum clan summon. The centipede. Ayaku why have you summoned me Shibi sent Shibi to eliminate an old friend. Ayaku looked down and saw Kashina running to battles him as Hayaku grew wings and flew Kashina jumped and impale her sword on Kayaku tail, making Hayaku whip his tail Kashina used that moment to jump higher in the air, Shibi looked as Kashina blocked the sun over him, her chakra chains already out and speeding to him, Shibi raised his hand Shibi secret technique insect wall. A huge wall made out of insects appeared above him, but that did nothing as the chains ran right through them and surrounded Kayaku and Shibi together tightly making Kayaku fall back on the ground, causing a huge earthquake and crater as Kashina landed softly on the ground, she grabbed the hilt of her sword and walked to battle Shibi, while it neutralized Kayaku with him being powerless to stop it or go. Back to the summoning world thanks to the chains Kashina using my boy to experiment your insect venom, and you have the guts to try and fight back, you have no shame Aburum. Shibi him. Kashina is always so stoic so calm. Kashina made it to Shibi finishing to take care of the giant insect she raised her weapon to the air and froze, she couldn't move Shibi you feel them don't you? All throughout this fight my insects have been entering your body soon, they'll consume your chakra and body, and you'll return to the world of the dead, Kashina just chuckled her chuckled, turned into full on laughing Kashina Aburam ever wonder why I'm called the red hot blooded habanero. Steam started to come off Kashina's body Shibi eyes widen, as the veins in Kashina's body shined so bright he could see them as literal fire coursed through Kashina's body, burning every single insect, giving Kashina's mobility back, she poked Shibi's harder weapon as hot as the fire inside her Kashina might turn to say it, my fire will consume your chakra and body, and it will drag you to the afterlife don't worry more will be soon to follow. Kashina activated her chakra as fire burned Shibi's body from the inside, making the one stoic shinobi have emotions, utter and complete pain, Kashina dashed away as she felt multiple chakra signatures coming her way slowly burr surely every single clan head was eliminated down by her weapon. Kashina stopped at the Hokage Tower, hearing all the cries of mourning she caused, and got an evil glint on her eye, seeing Nobel and civilian alike run to their homes lock their doors and hug their children praying to Kami that the demon known as Kashina won't come for them next, Kashina frowned and spits on the ground Kashina you all run and could battle's a luxury you never gave my son I should eliminate you all, be thankful there's only one member left in my eliminate list Shikaku what a drag, why did you leave me for last Kashina turned around and saw Shikaku Nara Minato's former best friend landing on the ground using the light from the moon to create his shadows. Kashina. Because I wanted to ask you something the Nara clan is the smartest in Konoha so smart pineapple tell me your reason to why you let my son get abuse, tell me why you let the son of your best friend get abused, tell me why your clan members would use your clan's jutsu to stop my boy from running away from the villagers, Kishina said coldly holding her katana as hard as possible meanwhile. Naruto was looking intently he also wanted an answer Shikaku for the greater good of Konoha, our village was weak, or villagers scared they needed something to blame something to punish your son was the sacrifice if we didn't, there was a high chance of multiple things happening 36% of a civil battle, 48% of riots for protecting Naruto, 71% chance of fight between civilians and shinobis. They needed a common goal, and that was their hatred for the Nine Tails Fox, if it meant that one boy would suffer well what's one boy compared to a whole village. I as the shadow Hokage of the fourth took the best course of action, for our village Kashina you disgust me. Shikaku I disgust myself, but in this world sometimes you have to choose the lesser of two evils Kashina didn't speak anymore, as a chakra chain appeared then too. Then four then eight soon enough in the course of five seconds, thousands of chakra chains appeared enough to cover the night sky, and any moonlight to enter the battlefield Shikaku side, grabbed a sig and started doing their business, Shikaku if I had to choose. I would do it all over again does were the last words of Shikaku Nara as Kashina takes care of him slamming every single chakra chain inside Shikaku's body, the former Kanoha 12 was no more Kashina shunshin away and back to her compound back to Naruto, who when he saw her he hugged her and she hugged back. Days later. The fire capital. We see in the garden training trying to unlock his chakra chains, it would go faster if Naruto would just let Kashina do it for him, but he refused so here they are with Naruto showing signs of chakra exhaustion, barely able to make one ring of the chain before it exploded, Naruto fell on the floor breathing heavily. Kashina not bad Naruto, but you need better chakra control if you make even one mistake it will not work and it will explode in your face like it just did, but that's enough training for today.
Naruto got up wobbly legs nodding he walked to his mother and sat down next to her. Naruto only a small one I want to learn this before. Naruto stopped himself and his mood dropped Kashina gave him a sad smile and kissed his forehead. Kashina, before I disappear. Naruto had to fight the tears from showing, well Kashina was here now it was only a small part of her soul and chakra and without a body to seal them, Kashina will soon leave to be reunited with the rest of her soul. Kashina nothing that can be done about it Naruto we all have to die at some point that is the life of a shinobi after all. Naruto I know but it's just, I just got you and to know I'm only gonna lose you in a short amount of time, it's heartbreaking. Kashina I know it's heartbreaking for me too I don't want to leave you, but you're not alone anymore you know that. Kashina rubbed her thumb on Naruto's cheek, giving him a small smile. Kashina you have your auntie who can tell you stories about me and believe me I have stories. Both chuckled at that. Kashina you have your uncle and Sanade both willing to do anything to help you. Naruto I know hell they're covering up your little massacre as an Akatsuki attack. Kashina snorted at that if she could she would slam Sanade for making up such a lame excuse. Kashina you have your cousin and friends you may not always have me, but you will never be alone. Naruto noticed that you didn't include Shizune in that mixed. Kashina crossed her arms and pouted. Kashina I have no idea what you mean. Naruto you who you know you didn't have to scare he before she left with Bachan. Kashina I just want to make sure that lion is right for you. Naruto just laughed holding his side. Naruto mom Shizune is far from a lion at most she's a senpai. Kashina still too old for my son. Naruto and the second she gives you grandchild you will forget all about that and just be happy to hold them in your arms. Kashina. Dot dot maybe a little but yes I'll hold them hug, then kiss their little bodies and just take in that new baby smells. Naruto, and don't forget the presents. Kashina ha never your kids will be spoiled rotten by me. You'll have to buy another house just to have a place for them all. Both laughed at the thought of it, but soon the laugh turned bitter, as both knew what they were talking about was nothing more than a dream that could never happen, Kashina saw Naruto looking sad again, and it broke her heart, seeing that expression on her son's face. Kashina sighed and gave Naruto a one-arm hug Naruto rested his head on her shoulder, just enjoying the mother-son moment watching the autumn leaves fall. Kashina leaves from the vine falling so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting in the foam. Kashina used her small pouch of water to make two forms a mother holding her little boy. Kashina little soldier boy come marching home brave soldier boy come marching home. The form changed to the water mother swinging the little water kid in a swing under a tree. The Sheena ash in the snow falling so slow like fragile broken hearts with no place to go. The form changed again to the mother protecting the son from a group of water people. The Sheena little soldier boy taken from him forced to fight a battle that was not his own. The form changed to the mother and son making seals together. The Sheena. Little soldier boy cold and alone brave soldier boy never made it home. The form fell as Kashina's hand started trembling and hard to move as a bit more of her soul, and Charka leaves her making Kashina look older, then she was she felt Naruto hold her hand, Kashina closed her eyes and kept the melody. Kashina leaves from the vine changing so slow like empty fallen souls looking for a. Naruto raised his hand and made the mother-son figure again this time the boy was much older taking care of the mother. Kashina home little soldier boy thought he could soar brave soldier boy fallen in the battle my. The boy was rolling the mother in the wheelchair to the top of a hill to look at the sunset. Kashina. Little soldier boy I need you home brave soldier boy come marching home. The mother and son hugged each other one last time as the water mother evaporated leaving the water boy alone, Kashina frowned and did not like this ending, she raised her free hand and used a bit of chakra to make a water girl to hug the water boy Naruto gave a wet chuckle, knowing what she was implying as he cleaned his tears and got up and rolled his mother wheelchair to the dinner area the mood still sad but more bittersweet. Days later in Kanoha. We see Tsunade was finishing up the paperwork after a whole week of mourning things were starting to get back to normal, with the new clan heads taking their places Shizune walked in with another stack of paperwork, and for once Tsunade didn't mind kept her mind distracted for what was happening today in the capital. Shizune alright these are the Nara and Inuzuka clan's paperwork. Tsunade thank you did you go to the capital. Shizune this morning. Tsunade. How's Naruto taking it? Shizune sighed and played with her hair thinking of her boyfriend. Shizune as well as anyone could under the circumstances. Tsunade nodded and started with the next stack of paperwork when the door knocked. Tsunade enter. The door opened and in came Sakura her eyes showed she was a woman on a mission. Tsunade ah Sakura please sit down it's been more than a year since you last visited me for something other than a mission let me get you a glass of drink. Sakura this isn't a social call Hokage. Tsunade sighed she guessed as much and waved Sakura to take a seat she did and looked at Tsunade waiting for her to pay her some attention, but that time never came. Tsunade well I'm waiting what can I do for you? 
Tsunade said signing another form from the new clan heads. Sakura aren't you gonna look at me. Tsunade I can do two things now hurry up before I replace you for my sake. Sakura frowned and slammed her hand on the table Tsunade glanced her, then went back to her paperwork. Tsunade are you done throwing a fit? Sakura fine I want to know why you Naruto the role of the next slug summoner. Tsunade because I'm pushing 50 and I don't plan to be like Hiruzen and do this till I'm old and grey I have retirement plans and being Hokage are responsible for the slugs are not on the list, it was time for me to decide my successor and I choose Naruto, you don't see Shizune complaining. Shizune to be fair Tsunade I am more mature than Haruno here. Shizune said putting down another stack of paperwork before walking away. Sakura but why Naruto he's just. Tsunade the Jinjiriki the fourth son, one of the last Uzumaki, strong enough to beat Kakashi one of the strongest shinobi we have, takes the missions I give him seriously and doesn't spend his time flirting with people like someone I know. Tsunade glared at Sakura making her blush I'm embarrassment. Tsunade yeah I read the report why do you think you, Kiba and Choji are stuck with D missions for the foreseeable future. Sakura but sensei I was you student before him. Tsunade and Shizune before you, your point. Sakura remained quiet, and Tsunade continued with her paperwork. Tsunade unlike you Sakura Naruto has proven his resolve, his maturity, he's a changed man no longer the very last, but if I had to bet I would put all the senju money on Naruto winning on another tournament against the rest of you and the rookie 12 or well rookie 10 now, and I assure you that's a bet I know I would win now do me a favor and get out of my office before I send you to the cells with your mother. Sakura flinched she felt so many emotions, and she could only scream in frustration before slamming the door, Tsunade sighed taking a swing of her drink. Tsunade. Hopefully Naruto is having a good time with his mother. Meanwhile in the capital. Naruto was waiting outside his mother door as his auntie came out with a few tears still in her eyes, as she cleaned them they looked at each other and hugged each other before letting go. The Kiriya the only one left. Naruto nodded took a deep breath and walked inside sitting on her bed there was his mother her time was almost completely up, she looked like a 90 year old woman she looked at him and gave him a slow smile and patted the bed for him to join her Naruto did and laid down in front of her, resting his head on her stomach as he wrapped his arms around her waist. Naruto when I wake up tomorrow, you'll be gone, won't you? Bishina didn't say anything just kissed her son temple as she kept brushing his hair with her hand. Bishina. Wandering child of the earth do you know just how much you're worth? Bishina old trembling fingers played with Naruto's hair. Bishina you have walked this path since your birth you were destined for more. Naruto closed his eyes and hold his mother's skinny frame tighter. Bishina. There are those who will tell you you're wrong they will try to silence your song. Tears finally started to fall from Kashina's face she didn't want to leave her son but had no choice. Bishina but right here is where you belong so song search anymore. Bishina used what little jutsu she had for a genjutsu as Naruto's eyes were closed, he could see his life with his mother. Bishina you are the dawn of the new day that's waking a masterpiece still in the making the blue in an ocean of grey you are right where you need to be poised to inspire and to succeed you look back and you'll realize one day. As Kashina kept singing her voice got softer and softer after every lyric, Naruto sniffled a bit as a few tears escaped his closed eyes, but for that moment in time that singular bubble he wasn't Naruto Uzumaki, he wasn't the last shinobi Uzumaki he didn't have the weight of the world on his shoulder, he was just a kid a kid spending time with his mother, for that fleeting moment Naruto could finally feel actual childlike happiness even if it was bittersweet. One month later. In Kanoha night time. Location. The Uzumaki compound. Naruto was reading the scroll Akira gave him trying to figure out what he great-grandfather couldn't, when the door was knocked Naruto looked at the clock. Naruto at this hour. Who's even still out at this hour? Slug want me to tell them that you are unavailable little prince. Naruto chuckled softly looking at the slug since becoming Tsunade's successor, and the next head of the slugs his new summons, gave him that nickname, until Tsunade can no longer hold the mantle. Naruto the date Tsunade gives that up will be her last. Naruto frowned that was a dark thought something he didn't want to think about it, but the thought still remained. Naruto Tsunade is pushing 55 how much longer until she can't be a shinobi, and retires Jiji was old and he was still fighting, but he didn't have a choice in that matter, Tsunade does so how much longer does she has until. The door knocked again Naruto got up. Naruto I'll answer can you make some tea in the meantime? Slug of course little prince it would be my pleasure. Naruto gave the slug a smile as thanks and walked to the door opened it, and it revealed Sakura Haruno Naruto frowned he hasn't seen Sakura since the trail, Naruto crossed his arms and leaned against a doorframe. Naruto can I help you Haruno? Sakura yes. I've come to talk to you if. Can I come in? Naruto. Dot dot shoes off. 
Naruto walked back inside and sat down a little later Sakura joined him she sat down on the chair opposite of his tea already on the table, Naruto had a small smirk at that. Naruto if I asked the toads for something like this they would just laugh at my face and insult me, man I used to be such a doormat. Naruto took the tea and took a sip with Sakura just looking at her drink. Naruto unless you enjoy a cold drink of leaf juice I suggest you take a drink. Sakura flinched and does so burning to roof of her mouth but not showing it. Naruto now why have you come here at this ungodly hour? Sakura. It's something that has been bothering since our last mission what you said about Sasuke. Naruto ah, I assumed we would be having this conversation at some point tell me do you intend to act like a crazy screaming banshee or will you actually hear what I have to say have an adult discussion? Sakura. I'll, I'll listen. Naruto I plan on eliminating him simple as that I'll give him one chance one last chance to come back peacefully but if he refuses I'll defeat him. Sakura but you. Naruto you actually accept me to keep a promise I said when I was young and naive. Tell me Sakura did you keep the promises you've made when you were young? Sakura. Dot. Naruto that's what I thought and I know what you're thinking, but oh has our teammate oh remember what Kakashi sensei said does who abandon the mission are scum, but does who abandon their comrades are worse, then scum well to the first one Sasuke hasn't been our comrade in years Sakura, and to the second point Sasuke abandoned us, not the other way around he chose to abandon his friends. To abandon his village to abandon any chance for a normal life to abandon you. Sakura flinched at that as Naruto sighed and looked up at his ceiling. Naruto as much as I now hate him Jiraiya did say something that still holds true, he told me to forget about Sasuke he's gone, and his ride our Sasuke, the one that at one small point in our life was our friend is gone. Sakura. He's being manipulated Naruto we need to help him see that. Naruto is he. Again more words of Jiraiya holding true if you're wondering how can that be, that's because I was in your shoes back then Sakura I was thinking the same thing. Sasuke went to Orochimaru of his own free will he wasn't manipulated, he wasn't force he went because he wanted power the fastest way possible, no matter what we do, we cannot change him trust in Jiraiya's words and mine when I say this, you should just forget about bringing him back the path he's going, is the tragic path of self-righteous fools. You know when he told me that I was so mad I yelled at him calling Sasuke my friend trying desperately to defend him, I wonder did I defend him because of that small moment of friendship or because of that promise I made to you. But his words are something you need to hear Sakura can you honestly call Sasuke a friend? A comrade. Just look at what he's done to you and to me I had his hand impaled my chest and almost ceased to live twice trying to bring him back and you, well the less said the better. Sakura hey. Naruto raised his hand to stop her and let him finish. Naruto Sasuke was destined to leave sooner or later you can't blame yourself for not being able to stop him Sakura and I won't blame myself for not bringing him back not anymore. Sakura. But you promised me you gave me your nindo your ninja way. Naruto chuckled at that. Naruto is that the best you got. I did promise that but again I was but a child too naive to see the true world to be a ninja you need more than strength and just so we must acquire the judgment you will make the right decisions if we are to live as a ninja we must become smarter this world is no place for fools that's the reality I said I would remain a fool but I was wrong even a fool can learn. When it's time to cut your losses and let go and I did. Naruto I'm still not forgiving him that's just a fact but does few times Jiraiya actually taught me something guess he has some good teacher inside him. Sakura so that's it we just let him go. How can you just cut him out of your life like that how can you cut me out like that? Answer me. Naruto got up and walked to Sakura he took out a picture and showed it to her. Naruto used his fire justsu to burn the photo in such a way where only Sakura remained, Naruto let the photo drop to the table. Naruto Sasuke choose his own path Sakura it's a path of loneliness and hatred, but it's his path nonetheless, Kakashi chose a path where he's stuck in the past, Jiraiya chose a path where he does as he pleases, and me. I choose my path a path of self-improvement and loved one surroundings me now you must choose your path will you stay stagnant waiting, hoping that one day some way Sasuke will come back for you and you'll live happily ever after or will you train whatever little time you have left for what's to come. Sakura what do you mean what's to come? Naruto. Can't you feel it? The winds of change are coming and coming fast I can't say what it is but something bad is coming there will be pain and a lot of it. Naruto finished his drink and got up. Naruto. I believe you've got what you came here for Miss Hirono I'll see you out. Sakura nods and walked with him to the door Naruto opened it for her and she walked out. Sakura. Thanks Naruto for talking to me I can't say I'm over Sasuke thanks to one conversation but you've given me a lot to think about and maybe dot dot maybe it helped me see you a little better. Naruto. The first step is always the hardest and I see a lot of hard days ahead of you having to fix your family name what's left of it at least. Sakura just nods and leaves Naruto walked back inside. 
Slug little prince are you ready to go? Naruto just about how long do you think it will take? Slug. Well seeing as you already know how to use half of sage mode, it shouldn't take more than a few months. Naruto nodded and looked out the window seeing the pink hair of Sakura waking at the distance, giving a small prayer to his old teammate to find her path before going with the slugs to the slug kingdom. One week later. Hinoha with Tsunade. We see Tsunade in her office finishing up paperwork as a slug appeared, Tsunade didn't even glance back and just kept working. Tsunade report. Slug Queen Tsunade it would give you great pleasure to know that the little prince has mastered the sage mode. Tsunade broke her pen and looked at the slug, her eyes widening at such a claim. Tsunade are you certain? It's been only a week since he left. Slug yes my queen in fact he told me that he also found a way to free you from the shackles of paperwork and that you will feel like a complete and total idiot for never thinking about it. Tsunade grew a tick mark as she glared at the snail, as if it was his words not Naruto's. Tsunade really now well then bring Naruto Uzumaki to me to see this so-called solution that none of the last four Hokages or any leader in the elemental nations managed to figure out. Slug High Queen Tsunade. The slug disappeared for a few seconds, then Naruto appeared. Naruto hey, Bachan. Naruto said smiling Tsunade looked at him with curiosity since he got new clothes. Tsunade before we get into all that what is with this new outfit? Naruto oh I decided it was time for a change in my clothes, since orange was far too bright for night mission, so I decided to go with black and blue, but since orange is my favorite color. Naruto opened his long jacket and showed the inside was his signature bright orange, even the fire was orange. Tsunade but there's still orange on the outside. Naruto yes but at the end where it will be harder to see still can't say I don't look good. Tsunade yes I'm sure Shizune will be thrilled to see you. Naruto blushed a bit he's missed Shizune over the week and still hasn't gotten the chance to tell her he loves her. Naruto better hurry up the Shinigami is always behind the shinobi. Tsunade. Anyway the slug told me you already learned sage mode so I have to see it before I even believe it. Naruto smirked and nodded he sat down on the floor on a meditating position closing his eyes, Naruto remained absolutely still in order to be one with nature and balance the natural energy with their own physical and spiritual energies. Tsunade eyes widen as she could feel the power coming from Naruto as his skin losses all his pigment turning snow white whole spots of light blue appeared in spots of his body, his eyes was surrounded by this blue while his signature whiskers turned thicker and got covered in the blueness, out of Naruto's head two slug antenna appeared as he grew a large slug tail. Naruto got up and opened his eyes, his eyes were different shades of light blue as he crossed his arms. Naruto. Well what do you think Bachan? Naruto said calmly as a smirk appeared in his face at Tsunade's shocked expression, her mouth was moving, but no words came out as Naruto turned off his sage mode, his tail and antenna disappeared as his skin and eyes went back to normal, the bright blue disappearing from his body Naruto sat down, he grabbed Tsunade's shin and closed her mouth for her. Naruto now now botch and you'll catch flies if you keep your mouth open like that. Naruto said with a bit of smugness that he rightfully deserves to feel, since he managed to surpass his old teacher, managing to achieve something Jiraiya never could achieve completely, Tsunade slapped Naruto's hand away playfully, but her playful slap still hurt, so Naruto rubbed his hand. Tsunade that is incredible Naruto to be able to use something that from my knowledge only like the first and fourth Hokage, managed to do how the hell did you manage this in a week? Naruto's smile got bigger and more smug as he crossed his chair and started playing with his nails. Naruto did the slug tell you that I found the solution to your paperwork problem? Tsunade you brat we are talking about something else. Naruto and I want to change the subject for a moment please indulge me. Tsunade rolled her eyes and huffed before her tick mark returned. Tsunade find them tell me how you and I quote, found a way to free you from the shackles of paperwork and that you will feel like a complete and total idiot for never thinking about it. Naruto Bachan, Bachan, Bachan you might want to get your drink read because you are so not ready for what I have to tell you did you know that I can train with my shadow clones, they can do the training with me and I get all the information and training benefits it comes with it. The side effects too, but that's neither here nor there. Tsunade no I didn't know that though that would explain how my grand uncle was able to become so strong. Naruto yes it would now tell me can you learn shadow clones. Tsunade what kind of question is that of course I can. Naruto well then why don't you learn shadow clone just so and make their clones do all the paperwork. Tsunade. Oh you. Meanwhile in the pure lands. We see a number of things Minato on all four on his knees crying while Kishina laughed her ass off pointing at him. Minato why didn't I think of that, shadow clones was one of my main justice. Kishina buahahahahaha oh, dot oh kami my sides I think I'm dying again. Kishina kept laughing at him while Hiruzen was in the fetal position rocking himself back a for battles crying like a baby. Here is in so many year my golden years all wasted why why did I have to waste them? 
and finally we see the normally stoic Tabarama laughing on the ground while his brother Hashirama was on top of him strangling him with nothing but fury and hatred in his eyes. Hashirama you created the Justsu and never told me this. Tabarama I, I, I made that Justsu specifically. The piss you off I can't believe I cannot believe the great shinobi no kami took him this long to notice this buhahaha. -ha -ha. Ashirama Rea I am gonna give you a second demise. Back to the shinobi world. With Naruto. We see him walking to his compound he decided it would be best if he gave Tsunade some time to cool off. Naruto. Hmm, I should really get Shizune something I did leave without telling her. Naruto felt an arm hug his shoulder, making him flinch and pale as he slowly turned his head as he saw pissed off Shizune smiling at him. Shizune yes Naruto what will you give me to make up you leaving without so much as a goodbye. Naruto. Dot dot this. Naruto took Shizune by surprise kissing her in the middle of the streets, Shizune eyes widen as she blushed madly as Naruto let go of the kiss smiling at Shizune who started to ramble. Naruto that should give me at a least 15 second head start. Naruto started to run for his life away from the poison specialist after 15 seconds Shizune shook her head, gaining her senses again she looked at the dot that was Naruto and grew an angry smile still blushing. Shizune oh now you are really dead. Shizune went running after him thinking of already more than 100 different types of non-lethal but extremely painful poisons to subject Naruto. Meanwhile with Tsunade. We see Tsunade has finally calmed down some as a few of her clones cleaned up the room, while one did the paperwork the original Tsunade was sitting down in her Hokage chair looking out to the mirror. Tsunade the next Jonin exam will happen in 6 months, I was gonna send only Shikamaru and Lee do that, should I add Naruto to that list? Shadow clone Tsunade what kind of question is that? 9 of course you should even Jiraiya couldn't master sage mode and Naruto could do it in a week, it would be a complete waste of his talent to not nurture it, you would be no better than Kakashi and Jiraiya. Tsunade sighed as she took a swing of her drink before coming to a decision. Tsunade then it's decided the only three going to the Jonin exams will be Shikamaru Nara, Rock Lee, and Naruto Uzumaki, one of you get on that while I get another drink. Tsunade said wobbly walking away. With Naruto. We see him sighing in relief that he managed to escape Shizune's blushing wrath Naruto great, now I owe Anko a favor for helping me I so don't want to owe that woman anything she scares me, Naruto trembled as he stopped as someone grabbed his shoulder he looked and frowned slightly, as there was Kakashi Hadake, with his usual one eye smile Naruto Hadake what do you want? Kakashi I don't want to fight I just have something I would like to talk to you about Naruto. Dot dot fine, then talk. Kakashi actually do you mind if we have this conversation in private? Naruto. I'm going home now so you're free to follow Kakashi nodded, and they walked in silent in the Uzumaki compound. Kakashi was looking around at the house he has never been once in his life, Kakashi you know your mother moved out of this compound and went to the Namikaze compound with your father, Naruto I'm not my mother and I have no interest in going, let alone living in the compound of the man who gave me this curse, instead of taking it with him, Naruto calmly said as he walked to Kakashi with tea. Naruto put the tray down and started to drink, Naruto now what is is you wanted to talk about Kakashi well, you're not gons believe me, but I'm actually on time for something, since it was supposed to be me, and Jiraiya who would talk to you I don't know where he's gone to Naruto then dot. Jiraiya don't worry I'm right on time. Both shinobi looked and there was Jiraiya in the backyard instantly the ground he touched started to shine, Jiraiya looked down, just as a shadow clone appeared and uppercuts him to the air and out of his compound, Kakashi looked at Naruto, who just shrugged Naruto I've been doing some great progress in Fkinjutsu, as you must know Kakashi, they are a type of jutsu. In which one or several people are able to seal or store living beings, chakra objects and scrolls, people or any other storage medium. Kakashi I could use without the condescending explanation Naruto, but yes I also know that the seals can be broken and bypassed if the victim has a higher level chakra. So either you got Jiraiya by surprise or you have more chakra than him Naruto the second one I've sealed thousands of my shadow clones around my compound to appear at any unwanted guest you ask to come to my clones will not attack you Jiraiya on the other hand. Jiraiya let's try this again it is I the gallant Jiraiya. Jiraiya screamed as he fell from the sky, but just as he made it to the ceiling breaking it, he felt two Naruto's holding Jiraiya by his hair and whipping him out of the compound, Naruto before you two disappeared fix the roof shadow clones high. Naruto let's take this outside I rather not have wood in my tea Kakashi nodded, and both got outside watching as Jiraiya looked at them Kakashi so the only way for Jiraiya to get here is if you invite him. Naruto. Correct. Kakashi are you gonna do it? Naruto where would be the fun in that? Let's just watch him as he fails and enjoy our tea Kakashi. Dot fair enough. With Jiraiya. Jiraiya alright so the little Gaki put some seals does he think that's gonna stop the gallant Jiraiya, I was the one who taught Minato on seals for Kami's sake. 
Gareya got to work and do his credit he did manage to break a hundreds of seals as he slowly crawled to the location of Naruto and Kakashi, Jiraiya glared at them as Kakashi was just reading his Icha Icha novel, while Naruto was working on a new seal Jiraiya no no really don't help. Kakashi you got it. Naruto fine catch. Naruto threw the seal at Jiraiya who opened it his eyes widened as hundreds of chakra chains surrounded him, this took Kakashi by surprise as he looked at Naruto who was holding the main chain. Naruto pulled making Jiraiya full ride on a shadow clone seal making it appear, and the cloned Rasengan Jiraiya in the stomach, sending him flying out of the compound Kakashi when did you get your mother's chakra chains? Naruto when did you start to care about my training progression? Kakashi and Naruto looked at each other Naruto with bored eyes, as Kakashi just chuckled at battledly rubbing the back of his head Kakashi it was just a question. Naruto and I gave you an answer it was just one of the things I've been able to achieve in the last year, now that I'm actually training seriously and don't have undesirables stopping me from achieving success, it's kind of funny when you think about it in the background Jiraiya stomped his way on the road of broken seals he made, but does seal fix themselves, so Jiraiya took one step and he was. Groaned all the way to the Hokage monument Kakashi Hauso. Naruto Sasuke wanted power and would do anything to get it, I wanted power, and I would do anything to get it only I found a way to get it without becoming a traitor without even leaving the leaf, since I actually put time and effort in my training, while well, your student left for the first man who said he could make him stronger Kakashi you're still on that. Naruto. You still trying to deny it. Kakashi. Dot dot continue. Naruto that's what I thought, but I've said my piece just find it funny that I found the solution to Sasuke problem so easily, well he chose to walk the path of a rogue shinobi Naruto took another sip of his tea, as their son was blocked from them, Kakashi looked and saw Jiraiya on top of Gamabunta, who were falling down on the compound Jiraiya I've had it, I'll just destroy them all at once. As Gamabunta made contact to the ground every single shadow clone appeared thousands of shadow clones, all holding their swords jumped into action Jiraiya did his hand signs. Jiraiya fire style. Toad Flame Bomb. Gamabunta uses its large lung capacity to spray toad oil from its mouth, out of the thousands of shadow Naruto's jumping to them as Jiraiya ignites the oil. Increasing the attack's range and power it when they finished their attack to their credit they managed to eliminate 3000 clones, but the other used the first 3000 clones as a shield, when the fire stopped, they continued their attack half of them used Demon Slash, while the other half used Rasengan on the two invaders once more sending Jiraiya flying, as Gamabunta returned to the summoning world Kakashi. Wouldn't that many attack eliminate them will they be okay? Naruto, the big baby will be fine, I didn't use a lethal version Kakashi fair enough. They kept doing their thing until 5 minutes later Naruto heard of the ring of his doorbell he got up and walked up to the gate of his compound, walking past shadow clones that were fixing the place after Gamabunta's attack, he opened the gate to see a defeated Jiraiya Jiraiya can I please come in. Naruto yes me and Kakashi were waiting for you sadly we ran out of tea waiting for you, Jiraiya just nodded as they walked inside once inside Naruto sat down as he looked at his two former senseis who remained standing looking at him Naruto now then, dot how can I help you? Last time. Naruto now then, dot how can I help you? Now. Jiraiya Naruto we came here to talk about your training. Naruto. Naruto sat for battled holding his arms as he looked at them with a serious expression. Naruto oh. And pray tell what do you have to say about my training. You do remember the last discussion we had of it don't you? Jiraiya yes but it's been over a year you've hurt your training growth enough as it is with a self-taught business, it's time you take things seriously. One would think that Naruto would be angry at being insulted, but the once hot-heated number one knuckle-headed ninja has matured and kept his anger in check as he just looked at Jiraiya with a bored look. Naruto really now? Then please by all means tell me how I can fix my discretion. Jiraiya for one you need to decide on a sensei you haven't even achieved chun and you're still again in since you've missed the exams. Naruto. Didn't I miss them because I was on that three year training expedition with you. Jiraiya flinched but then coughed a bit. Jiraiya my point still stand you still need a sensei that's why Kakashi is here. Naruto oh so this is what you wanted to talk about. Jiraiya was uneasy with how calm Naruto was being right now. Kakashi yes, you see Naruto I believe you should return with Team 7, you are already familiar with the team's dynamics after all it's only natural. Naruto got a small tick mark since as always the great copy ninja wasn't taking Naruto seriously as he was busy reading his Icha Icha novel. Naruto Kakashi the fun time is over put away the book, I'll only give you one battling. Naruto eyes squinted as Kakashi ignored him, Naruto gave a small frown, and in one quick movement that looked more like a blur, Naruto threw a fire-infused kunai cutting the book, and the book burned to ash before it reached the ground, Kakashi eyes widened as he rubbed his hand as a bit of fire managed to touch him, he looked at Naruto. Naruto I battling you now I believe I gave your attention correct. 
The Kashi just nodded while in the background a shadow clone cleaned the ash unlike his apartment that was just a place to sleep this was his home and he will keep it as clean as possible. Naruto now you wish to train me to become Chunin. I'm afraid you're too late for that since I've been a Chunin for a while now. The Kashi and Jiraiya did a double take waiting for Naruto to tell them how. Naruto if you want that story ask the Hokage cause I sure as hell want but she'll tell you I'm already a Chunin. Akashi well let me congratulate you on that, but Naruto even as a chunin you still have a lot to learn. Hiraiya like the sage mode. Naruto just chuckled as he cracked his neck. Naruto you mean the same sage mode that you Kakashi has never even learned how to do and that you Jiraiya have never even after decades of training managed to achieve. Hiraiya grew a tick mark it pissed him off that Naruto was being cool and collected like he was in control of the situation. Hiraiya. I'll have you known brat that I was the one that trained your father on the sage mode. Naruto and yet he didn't use the sage mode against the masked man now known as Tobi bang up job there he really was one of the smartest Okage we ever had. The Kashi Naruto that was uncalled for. Hiraya. Yeah you. Naruto oh I know you're not gonna talk where were you on that night. Surely having one of the son in here in the village would have helped against such a beast. The Kashi your bias is showing Naruto. Naruto you mean about Bachan. No since by then Bachan had left the village years before out of grief over the loss of Dan, what's your excuse Jiraiya off doing his as usual near hot springs or maybe writing another one of your garbage books. Jiraiya was angry, no he was livid at words coming out of Naruto's mouth, what made him even more mad was that Naruto still didn't show any emotions he remained calm, as if what he was saying didn't deserve any sort of emotion, as if it was just the facts of the past, Kakashi got in between the two, having to be the voice of reason so that the two won't move from words to fists. Bakashi. Enough both of you we're getting out of topic Naruto you must have a sensei still, there's still the rank of Jonin, having the sage mode mastered would help tremendously at gaining that rank. Naruto I absolutely agree with you on that statement. Hiraya huffed and then smirked as he got in front of Naruto. Hiraya then I'll be your teacher again don't worry it only took your father 6 months to achieve it, I'm sure you'll get it, I'm 12 if you're lucky. Hiraya said in good humor and a bit of still anger for the insults Naruto threw at him as for Naruto he just sighed, got up and sat down on the floor on a meditating position, closing his eyes, Naruto remained absolutely still, in order to be one with nature and balance the natural energy with their own physical and spiritual energies. Hiraya eyes widen as he and Kakashi could feel the power coming from Naruto, as his skin losses all his pigment turning snow white whole spots of light blue, appeared in spots of his body, his eyes was surrounded by this blue, while his signature whiskers turned thicker and got covered in the blueness, out of Naruto's head two slug antenna appeared as he grew a large slug tail. Naruto got up and opened his eyes, his eyes were different shades of light blue as he crossed his arms. Naruto but then again why do I need your help when I'm a much better teacher than the both of you put together. To say Kakashi and Jiraiya were speechless would be the understatement to end all understatements as Naruto transformed back to his normal state, he sat back down to his couch and waited for them to regain their senses. Jiraiya how, how? Naruto how long? I did it in a week you can ask the Hokage if you don't believe me I honestly couldn't care less, as for the rank of Jonin well I believed I proved that I'm more than qualified to take the test, if not for the sage mode then for this. Four chakra chains appeared behind Naruto and wrapped themselves around the two. Naruto I outgrew both of you never and I mean never tell me to be your student again, since I don't need you, I'm a self-taught shinobi. Naruto threw them out of his compound just as Shizune walked inside. Shizune what was that about? Naruto same old they always spit don't worry about it now my beautiful princess, why are you here? Shizune blushed at the name and played with her hair a little. Shizune w. Well I've calmed down a bit after the whole Anko situation and since you're back I wanted to spend some time with you. Naruto is that a fact? Well I want the same thing so how about see just rest on the couch and cuddle while we read a book. Shizune. I couldn't think of a better thing to do. They hugged each other as they rest on the couch Shizune snuggling up on Naruto's chest hearing his heartbeat giving her a sense of calmness inside her as she feels Naruto's arms wrapped around her. Naruto Shizune. Shizune him. Naruto I, dot dot I love you. Naruto said but a whisper but Shizune heard it clear as day she blushed but then a soft smile appeared on her face. Shizune I love you too Naruto. Naruto stay and live with me. Shizune mh. Ok. Shizune yawned more tired than she thought they never got to read a book as they fell asleep in each other's arms. Two weeks later. It's been a quiet two weeks Jiraiya and Kakashi haven't bothered Naruto since that day much to his enjoyment, true to her word Shizune and Naruto started living together, they still had some bumps on the roads since they were new on living with another person, but who doesn't, but they were happy to wake up with someone else next to them with Tsunade at the Hokage Tower. 
B.C. Tsunade was reading through some scrolls for missions picking which one she would choose, one in particular picked her interested Tsunade wave country huh, asking help over some bandits in the area terrorizing the place, this is gonna need Shinobis to fight, and at least one healer Sakura is still banned from anything other than a D-class, and this is at least a B-class um. Anbu. Three Anbus appeared kneeling in front of Tsunade's desk, Tsunade bring me Shizune, Naruto, Kakashi and Team Guy Anbu hi Hokage-sama. The Anbu disappeared from sight. Location Kanoha's Park. We see Naruto running through the park as he dodged kunai's thrown at him, he looked Shizune just sitting there watching it happen with a evil smile on her face, Naruto you know a helping hand would be nice. Shizune oh you're right kids remember to aim before you throw a kunai. Naruto. Betrayal. He shouted as three kids tackled Naruto as he fell at Shizune's feet. Kanohamaru, we got you, boss. Naruto chuckled as he was playing with Kanohamaru and his gang. Naruto, you think so? Naruto turned into a puff of smoke, revealing it was a shadow clone. The three kids' eyes widen as they're all knocked down on the ground by Naruto's leg. They look up and see Naruto smirking at them. Naruto, nice try, gang, maybe next time. Naruto and Shizune helped the kids up as Kanohamaru puffed his cheeks. Kanohamaru, not fair, Nai san. You and I thought we finally had him. Shizune. Don't worry I'm sure you'll get him next time Mogi hey boss who's the lady. Naruto alright. Naruto walked up next to Shizune and grabbed her hand Naruto guys meet Shizune my girlfriend, Shizune meet, Kinohamaru, Mogi and Yudan, otherwise known as the team Abisu Shizune it's nice to meet you all. Tantan. Oink. Shizune said smiling holding her pet. Naruto just looked at her, having a small smile, but lovingly Naruto alright guys I've played with you enough, I want to spend time with Shizune Kanohamaru fine, but just wait boss next time I'll be sure to get you. Naruto smiled and rubbed Kanohamaru's hair Naruto I'm sure you will. Naruto turned around and him and Shizune started walking away holding the other's hand Naruto so what do you want to do today? Shizune oh I already have our day planned Naruto oh. Shizune grew an evil smile as she tightened her grip on Naruto's hand, so he couldn't escape Shizune yes, we need to buy new stuff for the house, a new fridge, stove. Plates I mean seriously Naruto how can you only have paper plates Naruto plates a plate what's the big deal, before Shizune could give Naruto an earful of Anbu appeared in front of them, Anbu the Hokage has called the both of you to her office at once Naruto. Thank you will be there as soon as possible the Anbu nodded and disappeared as Shizune sighed depressingly, since now she would have to wait to torture her little mule I mean her boyfriend. Naruto just grew a smug smile Naruto I guess we're gonna have to get a rain check on buying useless stuff, Shizune grew a tick mark as he disappeared from sight she sighed and soon joined him at the Hokage Tower. After 10 minutes everyone made it to the Hokage Tower as always Kakashi was the last one to arrive Tsunade alright, now that everyone is here we can start, I've called you all here for a beer ranked mission at Wave Country, some bandits have made their presence known and they asked us to neutralize the bandits and heal their wounded I assume this won't be a problem. Shinobi no Hokage sama. Tsunade guy as the highest ranking member of this expedition you'll be in charge guy of course Hokage sama I can feel the spirit of youth calling out to me this mission will be the most youthful of all. Liash. I alright team let's meet up at the gate I'm 10 minutes. Naruto Hadake if I see you late again you will suffer the consequences more specifically your itcha itcha collection will suffer am I clear. The Kashi paled a bit but nodded as they all left to get ready with Naruto and Shizune. We see them finishing up to seal their equipment for the mission Shizune so we're going on a mission with team guy, are you gonna confront the fake Lee? Naruto. Yes it's time for him to decide who he's gonna be Shizune wants some help with that. Naruto just make sure the other members don't interrupt us, I need to talk to him alone do you have everything? Shizune yup. Shizune kissed Naruto's cheek giving him a soft smile as they left they made it to the gates 5 with 5 minutes to spare and saw team guy there Naruto walked up to Neji who has a more calm expression he looked at Naruto and gave him a batlam smile Neji hello my friend im, glad we get to have a mission together, Naruto is um it's been a while since we fought how about we make this? Interesting Neji and what do you have in mind? Naruto biggest bandits count wins. Neji. Interesting I'm in. Liyash what a youthful outlook on a mission count me in on that bet if I lose I will do 10,000 push-ups. Aye that's the spirit Lee the power of youth is strong in you. I hugged Lee's shoulder both starting to manly cry. Lee guy sensei. Aye Lee. Benton rolled her eyes at her teammates and sensei antics as they all waited for Kakashi at the 10 minute mark Naruto started walking Lee. Naruto where are you going? Naruto we said 10 minute I refuse to wait for Kakashi if he's not gonna respect us for being on time, why should we respect him by waiting for him? Slowly the others joined Naruto until Guy was the only one left, not until the 20 minute mark did Kakashi made his appearance Kakashi yo sorry, I'm late I had to help an old lady walk to her home, where is everyone else? 
I already left I decided to wait for you my eternal rival now let's race to them the lose has to do our usual deal Kakashi fine. They looked at each other for a minute guy with his trademark smile and Kakashi with his usual neutral expression, they turned to a blur as they started running to their team as the mission has finally begun. The walk to wave was quiet, with the exception to Lee and Kai regular antics Naruto was walking next to Neji, while Shizune was having small talk with Tenten, giving her tips on how to add poison to her weapons, and finally Kakashi was at the back reading his book while every now and then glancing at Naruto. The walk took half a day, but they've made it to the head office of the leader of wave walking inside Naruto raised his eyebrows in surprise seeing at the man sitting on the chair. Naruto Tazuna. What are you doing here? Azuna oh, it's you again brat been quite the few years. Naruto looks like they've been good to you if the people here let an old drunk be their leader. Azuna haha guess you're right anyway back to business, let me just say I'm glad you ninjas could make it, you all already know that the place is being attacked by bandits, sadly we've already had a demise on the hands of those bastards, I'll give the information to your group's leader, the rest of you all will be staying in my house, Naruto you've already been there so please guide them there. Bakashi I'll stay with Guy so to show him the way. Naruto nodded and they left leaving Guy and Kakashi there to hear the information, the rest of the group walked to Tazuna's house. Tsunami my Naruto it's been so long. Naruto hello Tsunami where's Inari? Naruto bowed just in time as Inari jumped for a sneak attack, Inari fell and slides to the kitchen, Tsunami flinched when she heard broken plates, a huge tick mark appeared in Tsunami's face as a smile grew on her face. Tsunami in the kitchen and soon to be punished. Inari walked out limbing a bit smiling and walking past his mother to the protection of Naruto. Inari hey Naruto. It's been so long. Naruto hey Inari you look dot dot like a dead man anyway, this are my teammates for the mission introduce yourself. Tenten hi I'm Tenten the weapons master. Neji Neji Hyuga nice to meet you. Lee Ash. I'm Lee and it's very nice to meet you I'll protect you all with my life. Shizune. Hello I'm Shizune Naruto's girlfriend nice to meet you both. Tsunami nice to meet you all too especially you Shizune now make yourself at home while well, I have a little chat with my son. Inari felt the fear of God fill his body as he made the mistake of trying to run for it but Naruto accidentally tripped him. Naruto ups. Inari traitor. Naruto chuckled as they went inside and talked amongst themselves, it wasn't until the 20 minute mark that guy and Kakashi made it back to the group sitting down next to them. I alright I've gotten the rundown of the place I've decided that Shizune will stay near the village to help the injured, Naruto you and Lee will be protecting the north side, Tenten and Neji will protect the south Kakashi you'll be protecting east, and I'll protect the west Naruto, I'll need you to make shadow clones to search the area for any incoming enemies. Naruto got it since we'll be starting tomorrow I'll be off training. Naruto turned into a puff of smoke showing he was a shadow clone the whole time. Lee Ash. Naruto I won't let you do more training than me. Lee left running with Guy crying tears of pride for his secret son I mean for his student. Lee Yash Lee go the spirit of youth coursing through your veins it's so beautiful to see. In the distance they all could clearly hear Lee yelling Guy sensei. Guy that reminds me all of you don't leave without your partner the bandits try to ambush people when they are alone, they're not any regular bandits form the accounts Tazuna gave me, they have some retired shinobus. Shizune should we be worried about Naruto then. I fear not knowing Lee he'll find Naruto before any trouble could ever happen. Meanwhile with Naruto. We see him leaning against the tree enjoying the view of the clearing that meant more to Naruto more than just it's beautiful for it was the place he and Haku met the place that for that short moment in time they weren't enemy shinobis they were human regular human having a normal conversation. Naruto I wonder, dot how would life be different if we've met earlier, would you still see yourself as just a weapon Haku? Guess I'll never know. Naruto frown as another memory came into his mind. Flashback. Location Fire Nation Capital. Naruto I'm sorry you want me to what? Naruto's tone showed anger as he looked at his mother in an older state, her once bright red hair now dulled with many grey strand between them, her once smooth skin now with a considerable amount of wrinkles. Kashina I want you to forgive your father. Naruto mother why ask me such a thing it's because of that man that I've suffered throughout my childhood, because of him I have this demon inside me, you yourself told me how you wanted someone else to hold this burden, because of him your own sister, didn't even know I lived, can you even imagine the life full of love I would have gotten if they raised me, instead of having to live in an orphanage. Instead of having to learn how to take care for myself. How to cook. How to clean. How to do everything that number 6 years old should ever know how to do why would I ever forgive him for e wrongs he has done to me. Ashina didn't say anything at first just took a sip of her tea to buy herself some time to get her thoughts in order. Ashina yes your father has done a lot of awful stuff, things he could or couldn't have known, and I won't be defending him on any of it, but I'm not telling you this so to somehow make that moron feel better, I'm saying this for your well-being my son my sunshine my heart. 
Ashina slowly got up and walked up to Naruto holding his head lovingly in her hands. Ashina I want you to forgive him so you can move for battled, so that you can let go of all that anger and be able to enjoy your future to the fullest, nothing would make me happier than to see you happy truly happy dot dot. Present. Naruto. Dot dot. Naruto touched the seal on his shoulder and out came out Minato's flying thunder god kunai. Even after giving everything his father had to the public his special kunai and how to make them, Naruto kept for himself the reason. That's something he couldn't tell you, Naruto twirled the kunai around with a finger as he closed his eyes. Naruto easier said than done mother. Naruto threw the kunai landing on the tree in front of him, Naruto sighed and went into meditating position, feeling the nature around him, and more importantly, the three chakra signatures that were slowly making their way to him, once they made it close enough Naruto got up taking his sword out, slamming it to the ground. Naruto took you all long enough I was getting sick and tired of releasing chakra, so you would come to me. The three bandits didn't talk they just jumped out of the bushes while in the air, Naruto grabbed his sword and waited when the closest bandit was close enough in a matter of five seconds, Naruto was able to take the sword of the ground and poke the bandit in the heart. Naruto hoped the other two are more of a challenge. Naruto jumped out the way as the remaining two started swinging, their kunais at Naruto one with an electric-infused kunai, the other with a wind-infused one, Naruto got enough distance to make his hands signs. Naruto shadow clone Justsu. As the now three Naruto stared to fight quickly overwhelming the two retired shinobis turned bandits, one slipped giving the shadow clone the opportunity to use his chakra chain to pierce his body multiple times wrapping all his organs and squeezing them until they exploded. The remaining bandits scared for his life dropped a smoke bomb and ran away with Naruto looking at him leave not even considering running after him, there's no sport in hunting a running prey, Naruto turned around just in time to receive a slam to the face, courtesy of Lee who mistook him for a bandit. Lee. Take my dynamic entry. Naruto turned around just in time to receive a slam to the face, courtesy of Lee who mistook him for a bandit. Lee. Take my dynamic entry. Now. Lee looked at Naruto laying on the floor then at his foot, then at Naruto, then back at his foot then on the ground then on his foot wait dot dot. Naruto you know dot dot. Lee jumped when he felt Naruto's hand on his shoulder, shaking Lee looked to a nose bleeding Naruto with a terrifying smile on his face and a huge tick mark on his forehead, Naruto if you wanted me to treat you like that Matkiba, you could have just asked Lee bowed deeply, almost shaking Lee please forgive me Naruto. Naruto I'll forgive you if you answer me one thing Lee of course what is it? Naruto why are you still holding back? Lee huh? What, what do you mean? Naruto you know it's been quite the year of training for me with the training I've learned more than a few things hell I've learned more in one year than in three with your A Naruto spit on the ground in disgust of using his name, Lee noticed blood in the spit, making him wince Naruto and, in that training I've caught your training you do. 16 care on. 8 rounds of shadow boxing. 15 rounds of sparing. 10 rounds of speed bag. 10 rounds of heavy bag. 7 rounds of jumping rope. 2 sets of ab crunches of 100 reps. 2 sets of knee ups of 100 reps. 2 sets of diagonal crunches 100 reps. 2 sets of alternative bicycling of 100 reps. 2 sets of scissor leg of 100 reps. 2 sets of vertical leg crunches of 100 reps. 2 sets of side crunches of 100 reps. 2 sets of floor wipers of 100 reps. 2 sets of Russian twist of 100 reps. 10 rounds of agility ladder drill. And 1 vs 1 fight against Guy Lee yes that's my workout routine what's wrong with that? Naruto how about the fact that, that's all you do all you've done since before the Chunin exam so many years ago, the memories of the Chunin exams made Lee flinch, and Naruto sighed Naruto so my theory was right. Dot. Naruto for years you've been doing the same routine every single day you've never added more never asked your sensei for anything stronger, harder, better no, you've stayed in the route since you were 13, the problem is that routine doesn't work anymore does it? You can do it without working out a sweat, and that's the problem if you're not pushing yourself you'll never become stronger, you are a strong shinobi always were what I can't figure out is why. And don't tell me you don't know what I'm talking about because you do I saw it in your eyes I saw the you without the smiling mask, so take it off and talk to me, no one is here no one will know Lee. Dot dot what do you want me to say? Lee's mood completely disappeared the Lee he knew it was like he completely banished, as his smile turned to a frown, Lee tell me Naruto can hard work beat talent. Naruto it's not that simple, and you know that it depends on a number of things if the talented one only relies on his talents, then yes the hard worker will eventually beat him, but if the talented one works hard then. Lee then the hard worker will never surpass him, what's the point of working till I bleed when you have Neji, Sasuke, and now you who have talent and hard work, what's the point of working hard when I will never measure up against people like you, he'll take the Chunin exams one month I was hospitalized and what happened in that month. 
Sasuke was able to replicate my speed, something that took me years and almost defeated me to achieve Sasuke got it in one month of training, I've fallen behind my peers to the point I can't even see them anymore, so why bother? Why spend my years training in unending pain when I can just stay where I am now I'm still strong for a chunin, and I can take B-rank missions without anyone wondering why I don't take higher Naruto so that's it. You gave up on your ninja way. What happened to proving that you can beat natural talent with hard work? Lee I'm not gonna run away and I never go back on my word, that is my nindo. Aren't those your words? Yet Sakura told me how you gave up on Sasuke you gave up on bringing him back, breaking the promise you made for her, so are you really in any position to judge me? Naruto. Dot. Lee. Exactly, that wasn't nothing more than a dream a dream I wanted to be real more than anything in the entire world, and I was willing to do anything to achieve it, hell I did everything I trained until my fingers bleed, I trained day and night. I never once took a day off, but in the end a dream is still a dream someone without talent can never beat someone who has it, I just accepted that and made the most of what I do have, why try anymore, then I need to when the best I can do is mediocre, when you put it up against people like you, I'll ask you to keep this conversation between us, I rather not have the same discussion with Guy Sensei. Naruto so he knows. Lee he's my sensei of course he knows he supports me and all that, but doesn't mean I can't see the glint of disappointment in his eyes every now and then, but not like it matters, not like it can compare to the pit of disappointment and dissatisfaction, I have to feel every single day, dot I am a broken man Naruto I will never beat Neji, never beat you. Never beat Sasuke and eventually even Tenten will surpass me why? Because they can use chakra and I can't that's just a fact, so why dream otherwise? Come on let's go back to Tazuna's home Lee turned around and started to walk away, Naruto sighed and walked behind him, they didn't say anything until they made it close enough to Tazuna's home, when they did Naruto saw the change he saw the broken man, that is Lee put on a fake smile and happy attitude, as he ran inside his voice booming as always Lee guy sensei I've come back with Naruto. Naruto soon walked in positioning himself next to Shizune to calm himself down. I amazing Lee, Naruto how was the training? Naruto not bad had some dummies there for practice Lee Yash. He fraught off three bandits eliminating two of them guy amazing Naruto, but it would seem that this bandits are tougher than they seem giving your face Naruto not, really my broken nose is thanks to Lee who gave me a dynamic entry, thinking I was one of the bandits Lee laughed embarrassed while everyone waved it off they started. Talking about their plan of attack while in the background Shizune was healing Naruto's face. I well then that's enough for today let's all go to sleep we'll wake up at the crack of dawn and face this challenge with the full spirit of youth. Lee Guy Sensei. Bye Lee. While they had their moments the rest went to their respected rooms, Neji and Tenten shared one room, Shizune and Naruto shared another Lee, and Guy would ultimately sleep outside as a symbol of their youth, while Kakashi slept in the couch. 